Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is another request from our patron and fan, Phaedra. Thank you so much for being our patron over on Patreon. And if you guys wanna support one of our React videos and do a special request, I'll leave the link below for how you can do just that. So today we're reacting to, you guessed it, BTS. Oh my gosh, oh, finally. Yeah. But it's a different one. It's an, a Japanese song. Isn't that cool? Oh, goodness. So they're singing in Japanese. Another what can't they language. Do? Another language. What can't they do? Ridiculous. Yes. So this is um, Film Out at Music Blood. Special request. Super excited to hear it. Looks like a live performance. Let's get started. Sorry, guys. There's actually no subtitles for this one. We would love subtitles and yeah. stuff, but we're going to do our best without the subtitles. Yeah. Fangirl. Okay, I, there was never a good part to stop. So yeah, I'm gonna stop was, it. We tried. I we I tried. I tried. It's not a long video, so hopefully we can, we can, you don't mind that we go back a We're bit. We're gonna go back a bit. Okay, I just want to talk about. Um, I definitely hear. Um, that it's just their voices this time. Yes. Compared to the Tiny Desk that we watched. And it wasn't the whole Tiny Desk. No, it, was it just wasn't that just that song. Dynamite yeah, song. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. But like you don't hear any sort of vocal effect, yeah. vocal order, mm -hmm. auto tune, yeah. all of that stuff. You can hear that it's really just their voices. Um, and I, I like that a lot. Yeah. Oh and it's gosh. also a very different style song. Like, well, I mean, that was disco bit, pop. That was sure, a thing. Like, sure. even yeah. like, so a lot of disco, they turn up the compression and right. so it kind of sounds like a little bit weird, but it what's fits that, and works. What's the instrument where you sing into it? And oh, you... it's a, it's a, uh, what is that? Oh, shoot. I don't even know. You uh, do know. Voice box, talk box. A talk box, talk yeah. Box. That's exactly what that sound is like. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's like effectively auto tune and stuff. Yeah. I mean, um, but yeah, I definitely can tell that this is not really right. auto tune. There's no, no, there's, there's no effect. There's really no vocal processing yeah. going on here. Um, do you mind if I go back? No, I don't mind. I'm going to go all the way back to kind Let's of the beginning. Back. Okay, I know everybody told us their names, but. I'm so sorry. I'm still not going to use them. I it's am also, too afraid. It's also, we're bad with names they're, anyway. Also, they're, they look totally different. You their know? hair's changed. Their hair has changed. And they changed spots. And they changed spots. They're trying to confuse us. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. Okay, All so of you, of course, are going to know. Absolutely. But I loved this comparison too. Oh, I just think it's nice. Okay. It's yeah. such a sweet... Na, 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 na. Floating. It's yeah, and really nice phrasing. I just love the resonance here too. Oh. 
and then compare it. So, so this is like when we talked about this last time, where it's a smaller voice. Absolutely, like, I think it's a very different. Yeah, it's very timbre. different. He sings really sweetly and softly. Um, but it's, it's definitely, it's sound to me, I would describe it as smaller. That's yeah. not a good or bad thing. Right. This is That's not just... good or bad. We're just kind of trying to describe why, how I think they're using, um, their voices differently. differently. Absolutely. Um, this guy, mm -hmm. this person, yes. uh, is I think using a lot less air, mm -hmm. but really, you know, really, um, getting into the mic a bit more. Yeah. He's right here into yeah. the mic singing directly in there instead of like singing out right you know to the to the room at large right right really awesome though i love his voice oh you just do like last time yeah so sweet that chord I don't know what it is about it. Well, I liked his voice great. a lot in the BTS um, reaction as uh -huh. well. It's very different. I mean, they're all very different. Oh, yeah. But I would say him and then, oh, what's his name? I'm going to know this. I'm going to get who they are. V vocals. I think that's him. His name is just V. Kim Taehyung. Stage name is V. Okay. This is V. I Googled it. I'm we pretty Googled confident. We Googled it. We tried really um, hard. So he, I think, has the most unique singing voice. Like, obviously, there's voices that are darker when they're, like, rapping and sure. speaking. But I feel like his voice, when he sings, is a little bit more swallowed a little bit but i think that it's just a really natural timbre like mm. i would love to hear him speak i bet his voice sounds like that mm. i don't think he's putting anything on i think he just has a really unique quality to his voice yeah definitely. um and jimin 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 yeah who sang just before it also has a really unique quality to his voice like you talked about it yeah. being sounding a little smaller and and maybe lighter <laughs> This is so nice. such a nice flip right there yeah um how do you, how would you do that i know how i would do it Can he, de, de. Yeah. it's such a nice like i i don't know i um i kind of think like a who yeah, yeah i think yeah. like a big a big kind of rush oh i sorry i have a cat the here kitty cat. i have a cat here sorry and i just bonked <laughs> him i kind of have a rush of air that would go yeah. up and out yeah 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 la, 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a that's a really good exercise. Mm -hmm. la, Ooh, la, yeah. la. See, it's a different part of my voice though. Okay. Because it's not quite as heady. La, like even in that part of my register, yeah. it's still a little bit more. Right there. Yeah, it's yeah. a little bit more. That makes clear, sense. like not in a bad way, but that's just where it sits in my voice. Yeah. I want to talk about him. We talked about him last time and like compared his voice. Obviously, we're comparing them all. But I do notice like he had that nice flip, but I do notice he sings a little bit more with his muscles, like mm. a little bit more with his neck. Mm -hmm. Like you can even just see it as he moves. Mm. Um, I mean, he's obviously got a successful career and he's doing his we're thing. We're not knocking it. Right. We're not knocking it. But it is interesting to look and like, Maybe you guys can hear a difference also in how it sounds. Like, um, he did accomplish a really nice kind of loose flip, mm -hmm. but I do think it sounds a little bit more 
kind of um, held, maybe mm-hmm. is the word I would use, like held, than compared to the others. Mm. Let's listen just to this little section. <laughs> I hear, it's yeah. very it's it's uh it's pretty classic classic pop absolutely you know? i hear a lack <laughs> sorry and i don't want to say lack because i don't want to make it sound like oh he's worse thing. no but i don't hear as much resonance as i hear in some of their other voices mm. singing kind of the same phrases yeah. just just kind of an observation yeah sure yeah. <laughs> Love this word. <laughs> say something that might be offensive and I hope it's not because it's totally a compliment he sounds like a robot like he oh, sure. sounds very like it just sounds very like non-human but in a beautiful way well I think it's like the, an uh, I think it's the placement I don't know yes. if, uh, you know people who um, watch these kinds of shows might also know the pentatonics oh and right right what's his name they from would the definitely pentatonics? know the pentatonics yeah Mitch from the pentatonics kind of sings in that same register Absolutely. and it's, it's really just a placement thing yeah where he can he can kind of go up into the stratosphere and like to say that it's like head voice or chest voice right. doesn't actually really explain what, what's going on yeah and um, you know to me whenever I've had like moments where I'm kind of doing stuff like that mm-hmm. it just gets it's like at the front of my um, voice, I would say, and it mm-hmm. kind of does this thing where it's it's kind of both. It's both my my uh, it's my falsetto, but it goes it it has yeah. a lot more um, weight and presence yeah. to it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and so mm. you know, I just think that some people really navigate that yeah, so well, and really it's uh, no doubt from a lot of practice and right. a lot of a lot of hard work. But um, yeah, I just love that sound of just getting. Nah, 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 nah. It's like really yeah. nice, um, super forward, and yeah. uh, and sounds like he can just sing there into the stratosphere. Well, and he can, he can sing there all day. Absolutely. like very impressed by him there like yeah. wasn't expecting that sound to come out of his voice switching back and forth absolutely i think that he kind of shines up there in the higher parts mm. when when i was talking about how it felt like he might have been a little held i would never have thought that he was going to sing up there Still be able and to i thought that that was easily. really nice <laughs> Really I impressive. love octaves. I love it oh, so much. Sure. It's one of my favorite like choices to make yeah. when you sing with other people. Like mm. obviously singing in harmony is fantastic and wonderful, but singing in octaves is like 
Mm. I don't know. I just think it's nice. It's, it adds to it. It's a great effect. I um I just really am impressed with Jimin. Yeah. And the clarity he yes. has in his in his head voice falsetto, totally, whatever you want yeah. to call it. Um, it's wonderful. Absolutely. It's really great. And it's just, um, it's just such a, it's such a trained thing to really, yeah. to really pinpoint how to do that. And mm-hmm. then to do it night after night. It's just, it's just really impressive. How would you sing? Um, let's just take this real quick. How would you sing that? Probably not at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's easy for me because I'm a lady. Yeah. So, like, that's not necessarily high. But, like, how would you approach that as a male? With a lot of practice, honestly. Yeah. Because I feel, I feel like I, would, I know how I would get there. Right. Um, but it's not a place I sing very often. Often, okay. I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but when I sing in a certain register mm-hmm. more often, I... I start getting more comfortable in that register and I even kind of extend up here. I lose some of my lower notes right, right. and vice versa. If I'm singing a yeah. lot of songs lower, I kind of scooch my whole range down and I'm, and I lose some of my higher notes. Right. But I honestly think that that could be just a me thing, not being able to maintain the, the breadth of my range. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's honestly just my voice and me figuring out how to do it. The more I do it, yeah. the more I figure out how to do it. Um, right. You know. If you were, though, to approach, like, learning or singing, like, let's say you were in a band and that was your part, how would you approach that and what would you caution people to do? Like, oh, how sure. would you not, yeah, how yeah. would you approach that? Lots of air and really floaty. Yeah. You know, pinching and squeezing it to, mm-hmm. to sound like that, which you could do, yeah. um, is not going to be something you're going to be able to do night after night. At least in my opinion, I wouldn't be able to do it Mm -hmm. night after night. But if you can really get it to um, give it lots of air, super floaty. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. It's so like you can do it. Eh. Anyway, do that a bunch. Do that a bunch. Really lots of air, really super duper floaty. And then try to mess with the um, the resonance. Put it more yeah. in your nose. Right. Put it, um, you know. Totally. It's really, like night and day. Yeah, and you really can start to um, to define it and, and, and change it a little bit. But I would say as soon as you start grabbing on mm-hmm. and that's the way you do it, that's going to be the way you're going to continue to do it. Yeah. And that's going to tire you out a lot faster. So Absolutely. Yeah, so play around with it. But it's, the key is lots of air and mm-hmm. just kind of, Going through it to where you're comfortable with it and then start kind of manipulating smaller things, um, putting it in different places to resonate. um, And yeah, practice. Practice. Give it a shot. Yeah, I would say for for me, um, experiment with where that sits in your Mm -hmm. range. So like, Mm -hmm. oh, and feel what naturally is happening. Like, do you find that that's all head and you feel weak in it? Or do you find that there's a little bit of like break maybe and you have to kind of navigate something sure. so experiment with like sirens and slides and then just like you said a lot of air and the vowel a lot of air and then yeah don't be afraid to to nasal things. it up yeah yeah get more nose so yeah. that's the thing you know everybody talks about and we've said this before yeah. everyone talks about the nose being a bad thing right but like a lot of these guys are using so much nasal resonance yes. and it sounds amazing. Absolutely. You can't knock it, right? So Well, it's necessary. This is necessary. In this music, I don't know. I, think. I don't want to go too far back. It's right. Ha 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 ha. It's yeah. super it's super in there. Does it sound bad? I no. dare you. <laughs> dare. I dare you. How dare you? How dare How do you dare? <laughs> How dare you? After I dared you? How do you dare? <laughs> um, it's so, it's, it's abs, not only is it necessary, it's like essential. Absolutely. To, to good singing, to efficient singing, to. To the pop to, sound to too. To the pop sound. Yeah. Um, you need that nasal resonance. And yeah. so don't be afraid to get a little nasally. Don't. Don't be afraid. Okay, we're going to finish this. We're going to finish this. To the best of I'm impressed at how like most of them can sing high. Yeah. Like super well. I mean, yeah. I guess that's probably part of I mean, they're in a band and Well, and there are seven of famous. them. And yeah, so, that's true. you know, they have a lot of talented but, people to work with. Right, like one, two, three, four, at least four of them 
Sing comfortably that. and consistently sing in that register. And it's really impressive. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Phaedra. Phaedra, oh my gosh. I hope we're saying that right. I was saying that Thank right. you so much for requesting this video. This was wonderful. It's yeah. so nice to hear even more of BTS and like what they're capable of. We're yeah. excited to start. This is a totally different style of performance than we saw last time. Absolutely. And it's, just, it's just really, really good. That's really awesome. Well, if you guys are new to our channel and you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We make new videos like this every single week and we would love to have you join us here on this channel. If you like this video, please give it a like and we'll see you next time.